um, needs to sustain the clash as well. So there's a lot to consider there for for the side of uh, Nightmare Esports. But again, uh, we see some comfort picks uh, coming out from the side of Nightmare Esports. Uh, you like the draft because it's a bit more contemporary, has a great amount of damage, has a great amount of control. But for Wawa Gaming, I do like their draft as well. If they can pull this off, it would be great. They already got the friend in to solidify their draft be able to front line. But this is your final lineup here for Nightmare and Wawa Gaming last as we head over into the land of God we go between these two teams. This is going to be the first time they go up against each other here in the MSC 2023 Five Mega Qualifier. The the Jumping into the land of dawn with all these power picks. Troops are deployed. And again, this is Nightmare versus Wawa. Let's see who will make it out of the, this matchup alive. You know, th this specific skin from Dicky is so adorable because it seems like stars are walking and making their way through you and then you get damaged so so bad see that hurts especially in the early game uh, i oh my goodness this is a okay that is a uh an impure rage diggy okay there are times when you see diggy picking up the average there but i like how you pointed that out it's cute but this is a deadly diggy look at the the emblem i mean uh... I'm not so sure if Master Point is gonna be picking up the uh, the Dire Hit Emblem as well. That's gonna hurt a lot, especially if you build the dinghy to have uh, um, magic damage as well. Like semi-magic damage, semi-tanky uh, damage as well. So I think it would work really well, especially now the, the Melissa. The spec actually is uh, very well protected there on the bottom side. There's gonna be some duels here up top as well as down here at the bot. But there won't be any follow-up. Oh, now I'm jealous. They have the Jujutsu Kaisen skin. I got this jacket. Anyway, back to casting. <laughs> Looking here up top, looks like there's gonna be a possible 2v2. But just a few love gaps here and there. Nothing too immediate, nothing too intense. Just making sure that the waves will be pushed in. But of course, Mendetta will try her best to be able to clear out the wave. Um, boots and shoes are going to be locked in, not going to be bought here for mobility and everything else. A few pings going around the map, but no one is actually being extra aggressive. They're actually trying to get that first blood. Oh, you, you know what? You mentioned the Jujutsu Kaisen skins, right, uh, Hugo? Yes. Uh, but uh, there, there are two Forsaken Light members here for Wawa Gaming Labs. I just have to geek out about that because um, hey. you actually get uh, additional stats if you guys are on the same team. Uh, speaking of stats, uh, Wawa Gaming, they're going to be picking up the first turtle of this game. Great start for them. And the last time I've seen them, they, they, they're really good in the early game. I'm not so sure if uh, this will this will be the same up until the late game. They do have Respect here, who's uh, pretty much very comfortable with this uh, Melissa. And now we see Master Pun as well rotating towards the mid side. Uh, I'm not so sure if uh, Respect will be able to take uh, the Franco there. There's a flicker in. And the uh, ultimate coming in from Respect. They're unable to get anything, but uh, again, a nice attempt there from Nightmare Esports. It's really scary, right? You have a Franco uh, with the Iron Hook and the Bloody Hunt combo. It's, yes. it's enough to even uh, mm -hmm. make Respect recall back to the base for some HP there. Um, great start for uh, Wawa Gaming Laos really once again. Mm -hmm. The fact that you don't really know where Franco is going to be coming from is enough to actually give him the respect that he deserves. Especially that he really excels in the early game because you don't really have much utilities to help or let yourself jump out of a situation as in a connect, but no commitments just yet. So, so jealous. Even have the gorgeous skin. Go just love my life. But anyway, we're gonna jump into the mid here. A lot of damage. He is gonna get immobilized. I see the jumping coming from Melissa as well. They focus firing here. Silence and all that neutralization. First one going over to Diggy. Tier the support, but looks like there's gonna be a full on fight. Full on commit. Zone so soon here. It's not gonna connect. Diggy trying to follow him still. Stars are being sent out. But still, it will be the first blood going over to Wawa. Yep, uh, Master Pun with that uh, Impure Rage Diggy. Bitter X gonna get taken down there by the Petrify Electro Final, com uh, Electro Final Blow combo from Juviana. And going back to the lanes here, we're seeing a lot of aggression by Nightmare here uh, up against Respect. You see your mine as well. There's the Hulk coming through for Jasmine. And uh, Respect, uh, if you left this guy unchecked, 
this guy might actually get a lot of gold and especially since uh, he's being assisted here by the diggy it's gonna be extra hard here for the franco to make some engages up against the the melissa here of our respect and once again wabo gaming not forgetting the objectives your mind already starting up the turtle being picked up for the title wawa again and all of the gifts are being secured by your mind Literally owning that turtle. Now looks like Kreenik has his eyes set on one opponent. No follow up decides to not overstay his welcome. And now Wawa wow, wow, will just have to slowly and also gracefully walk back. Looking at the mid here though, means are pushing in. And looks like you have Param just firing here. Dubiana gets a bit of a damage, but she's fine. Still alive. Respect once again. You see Master Fun just uh, giving vision. Uh, for respect there in the lane. You can kind of see that uh, they know where to go here. And now look at that. Ooh. The cult altar has been popped here by Soul Soul. He's in the middle of everything. It's taken down there by respect. Not even popping that inspire just yet. But uh, fortunately enough for the side of Nightmare, their gold laner is still alive and kicking. But how can they actually push this lane if they got a very scary Franco and uh, Master Fun just assisting? Respect here to take down the lane, so I'm not so sure if uh, yeah they're actually gonna be pushing that one. Here comes the backup you go from uh, the, the members of Nightmare Esports. Topside as well. Um, mm -hmm. Great start again for Wawa Gaming Laos. Uh, if they can keep this up, I believe they can actually win this uh, win this game. But it's still five minutes in. I'm not so sure what Nightmare Esports will pull off. Still holding on to dear life here, Juliana decides to jump in, remake a little too low for comfort. Now you have Jasmine, the next start here, where Sam is in the connect, was not able to breathe, even survive there. Killing spree going over immediately to respect, really showing us that he deserves to be respected from this hero. Very, very good play. That's gonna be a lot of stars, a lot of bombs connecting. And now for Ramis looking at the side, looking at the mid lane though, possible 1v1 jumps in, but there is not enough combos just yet. And with that respect, as well as uh, Peter X, they will have to fall down. But six minutes in, it's one to four in favor of Wawa. But roughly the goal is just 1k ish. Turtle is now being focused fired by Wawa and that is going to be secured actually by Lancelot even. Quick, quick steal. Your mind now on the front line decides to let this one go. Now you have Aramis looking for his next possible target, but Peter X not. Is he going to jump in? I don't think so. Yeah, just, just let the minions do their thing. Just farm. But there is some commotion, a possible commotion here at the bot. Given that again, you have Kami which is Beatrix here and... Trying to zone out the other members, honestly. Ultimate coming in from Diggy. That's gonna be a lot of damage being taken off, actually. But the silence is gonna come through. Dives in under turret. That's gonna be a lot of damage being taken by Lasso. And he does get taken by Peter X. Now, Master Pun is very, very low. But he does not mind. I thought you are gonna survive, but that is gonna be a good attempt. Flick you out of there. And looks like for will have to play that, play that one with his own life. The kill going over to Fredwin. And that is. A little bit of overcommitment from Nightmare. And with that, it is gonna be a lot of things going in the favor of Wawa. Your mind your mind getting another kill. Ooh, that was too close for comfort for Master Fun and uh, respect. That was like one HP. Did you see that? I was expecting uh so -so to actually use the flicker there and, and um uh, pull them in, but unfortunately it wasn't enough. And this is where the part where you see the Impure Rage diggy coming through. I'm not so sure if that's a dire hit as well uh, for Master Pun. Speaking of, there's going to be a time surge here and they actually take down Lexi there. Here's the Lexi final go on to remake. Respect in the middle of everything. There's a shutdown. Gold coming through for Nightmare Esports. The second kill they picked up. But time and time again, you see Wawa Gaming just answering out to all the kills that Nightmare Esports picks up in this game. Ooh la la, Juviana with that play. See, one of the things you need to do to be able to survive against Melissa is to just take her down. <laughs> and one of the um, heroes that actually dives in at the back line is Juviana. Well, yeah, ben Benedetta. And that's actually a very good use of the ultimate as well. I think that was so, so worth it. It was able to push Wawa to play defensively or play this one safely and just, you know, go back to the drawing board get some items to be able to um get the armor and the being picked up by your mind by the way as we speak 
Now Fire Miss lurking around alongside Jasmine on this Franco. But yeah, nine minutes in, it looks like Nightmare slowly waking up. That is going to be coming in as well, but it's not going to be enough. Actually, it was enough. Respect was able to finish off that kill. Golden is not being picked up by Melissa right now. Lord is still being focus fired by Wawa. And that has to be a lot of setup. Your mind has its eyes set on one and one hero only, but it's not going to be enough. Lance was able to get that. Thanks for having his life. And Melissa, Respect was able to get that kill for himself. Two to none in favor of Wow Wow, but again, the Lord has been secured, I believe, by Nightmare. Yeah, you see those clutch retributions coming through for Lexi. Not a very good game on the last lot, 0-3-1, uh, but he has been able to secure a turtle and a Lord steal for Nightmare Esports. Giving them some breathing space here um, from the onslaught of uh, Wow Wow Gaming Laos. The Lord's going to be marching in at the bottom side. They have to manage their waves as well. Um, there's a, I mean, looking at the towers here, um, Wawa Gaming needs to push, and this was something that I've, I noticed in their previous games is they're good with the early, um, not very good with the wave management. That's why they felt they always fall short. But they pick up another kill again onto Lexi. That's two members down for the side of uh, Nightmare Esports, but they have to take care of the slower first. Yeah, honestly, a mega kill for your mind that I'm actually kind of concerned here. But it looks like Remake will have to pay for that one with his life. Dawning Light has been popped by Peter X as well. Actually, it's gonna hurt a lot. Was able to push Kami to fall back. And now your mind is up here on the lane. Was not able to get anyone though. But 10 minutes in, almost 11 minutes actually, we have 3 to 13. Things are still looking pretty hefty on the side of Wawa here. But yeah, you can actually see how fast they rotate, how fast they're able to try and secure all of these objectives. And I actually like how um, Savior, yeah, uh, he is not stingy with his ultimate at all. You can use that to get vision, could use that to initiate. And I guess that's one of the things that gives the confidence to Wawa. Plus, I like the fact that uh, Wawa has a lot more rage. I, I mentioned this during the drafting phase, and that's something that Nightmare Esports is struggling right now. They have this dive composition, but how can you compete with the range here of uh, Wawa Gaming Laos when they have a savior that has a global presence here? Pretty much, uh, Peter X can stay there on to on the top side, pop in that dawning light from uh, and get someone from the bottom side. So that's that's really something that uh, Nightmare Esports is lacking. I I'm quite surprised with their bans. Actually, they banned a lot of the high artillery mages but uh we were still engaged here on the remake uh killing spree for juviana but it seems like wawa gaming laos uh yuko has another plan there on the top side they're gonna push as much towers as they can nightmare esports as well they need to take as much turrets as they can to actually um equalize what uh wawa gaming has been taken in the early stages Sadly, they were not able to get the turret. Okay, I thought they were not able to get that a little bit too long, honestly. The fact that Lancelot was able to get the just in time to burst. I'm gonna connect on to one. Look at it by Diggy. There's gonna be a jump in from Juviana. Really focus firing on this Diggy. Apparently, she wants fried chicken. And that's gonna be very medical going over to Juviana on this Benedetta. And with that nightmare, they could try to get Lord, but Lord Dance is. Very much prominent here, Wawa. They want the objective, they want all those kills. Silence connecting onto everyone. That's maybe the kill going over to Lancelot. And looks like that's even another kill going over to Karamis. All the main damages are being taken down. We have two to three, two kills going over to Peter X onto Saber. Lord is still up. One gets immobilized. Now that will be another dawning light being popped by Saber. Looks like it will be a 3v1. Juviana not having the best time of her life, but your mind does have the best time of his life because he was able to get that lore. Yeah, this time without Lexi in the picture. You see how proactive uh, Juviana is here. And yeah, there's actually two XP laners here playing for Nightmare Esports. It's either Juviana or Jack. And the last time I casted for them, um, they, they both have their respective comfort heroes. Uh, Jack. Uh, with the Esmeralda, I think it really depends on the type of playstyle that they want. If they want additional sustain, they go for Jack. But if they want uh, someone who's more proactive on the lane, someone who can actually do the split pushes, they actually bring out Juliana. But this time, uh, Wawa Gaming Laos is going to be securing this uh, second lord of the game. They should be able to push in some more towers, but look at the damage coming through from uh, Soul Soul. 
Uh, the Paramis hasn't been uh, having such a good game here. One five two. We don't see a lot of dives here from Nightmare Esports. Care of uh, Wawa Gaming's range as well as uh, their uh, your mind with the uh, with the Frederick. Still unstoppable Ooh. at this point, uh, Yuko. They're still gonna go at it. Definitely gonna go all in here. Your mind kind of tanky. Was able to survive that one, but see, this is why you shouldn't leave Benedetta unattended. Just one good ultimate is enough to actually change the tides of the game. And with that, uh, Wawa was not able to close out the game and Nightmares base still gets to live another day. 90 seconds before the Lord looks like they might, you might witness one or two more clashes before they, they decide to get the objectives. But for now, it's just, you know, get, uh, get itemizations, get all those sustain, get all those life steals and Honestly, try to get as much vision as you can from the map. You mentioned that um, Wawa's um, composition is all about the range. And as you can see, they are able to utilize that. Saver again being able to pop with the ultimate yet ag again and again. So, Soul being targeted by your mind. That is a very squishy Fire Mist. Lonely Light being popped as well. Fire Mist doing his best to run away and also save his life. A lot of ultimates, out of the three sources being used just to preserve his life, and with that, Wawa will have to fall back. Wow, the Petrify Lecto final blow combo from Juviana is a bit too much to handle here for uh, Wawa Gaming. Laos. You see that Juviana's targets are are always the back lines here of Wawa Gaming, which is definitely something mm -hmm. that he needs to do. Even um, Lexi, the main targets here are the backlines of Wawa Gaming Laos, and that's the reason why they're winning all of these clashes. And if Nightmare Esports manages to take out those two damage dealers, that would be great because the rest of the members here of uh, uh, Wawa Gaming's jobs, like uh, Your Mind, Master Fun, even as well as a remake on that tank emblem, it's just to soak up the damage, get the, the damage dealers here from Wawa Gaming Laos the free hit. And well, that all of that is being said. The next lord is up. This is the uh, the third lord of the game. Not so sure if uh, Wawa Gaming will commit uh, to this lord because uh, Lexi's retribution game is so strong in this match. Um, this is something that we haven't seen. Usually, like your mind is uh, quite on point with the retribution, so not so sure if they will commit towards this one or maybe it's just a bait lord by the side of Wawa Gaming. Hey, if you're very much confident with, with your retribution, might as well play with fire, you know? <laughs> but there is a few Lord Dances here. Um, immortality being picked up by Remake. And that will be a reset. So I guess that was just a bait saver again, popping in with this ultimate just to get vision. So it's our falling down. And also everyone is going to converge into the middle. But I'm, I'm not going to be expecting any fights because they are focused on the Lord. Your mind is here at the front line. He is confident he does have immortality. And Xavier again with that dawning light. There's going to be a lot of AoE. There's going to be a jump in actually trying to focus fire on Lancelot. But he was able to jump out of there with his magical triangle. But now your mind is trying to shoot away the members of Nightmare Lord very, very low. And looks like Wawa, they want to get this huge objective. That's going to be the kill going over oh, to Peter X. Pop Queen coming in from Diggy, and now you have the Lord go over to the side, and everyone is falling down. You have one to two in favor of Wawa. Maybe they can get more. Alexa Final will being popped as well by Juviana, but now that is going to be an ensemble your mind. Everyone is falling down. One hero again, only taken down for the side of Wawa, but there is three already gone for the side of Nightmare, and with that. They are going to be knocking onto the enemy's base on the front line. You have your mind yet again. Remake a little bit, a little bit overextending here and there, but he's fine. He's still alive. Now they're going to try to maybe bait out Juviana. Mortality being popped as well as be the shutdown going over to respect. Shutdown gold being secured by the hero as well. Now you have So Soul forced to just stay it out. This kind of team, but it's not going to be enough because Wow Wow was able to win the game and win this best of one. And this is why I was quite impressed with the performance.